What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? Trucking is a trending thing to do now. Lockout, lockout. Wait, 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 wait. What do you, what do you mean, bro? What do you mean? It, it, look, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you. It is trending. Just like how everything else on social media is trending. Trucking is trending right now. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Every everybody that's getting the trucking and making the trucking look all glamorous, making it look all pretty, making it look all fun, you know, being a bad bee in the truck and all like that, bedazzling their headsets and everything, making trucking all fun and happy, happy, joy, joy. Trucking is trending right now. The only reason why you got in the truck is because you saw your favorite TikToker and they over here talking about how 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 gorgeous and glamorous it is to be in the truck. They was the one that said, yo, go out and get your CDLs and you could change your life and stuff like that. That's the only reason why you in the truck, even though there's different reasons why people get in the truck. You know, some people some people got in the truck because it was the it thing to do some people got in the truck because it was the last thing to do that's why they got in the truck and that's why trucking that's why trucking right now is trending trucking is trending because of what people of what people out here making trucking look like and they making trucking look like it's all glamorous but let me tell you something, though. Me, I came in the truck in 2014, 15. I came in it before it was a trending thing to do. But don't let me stop. Let me stop. I did trends. It was trend. It, it was a trend to rock out in the rocker rare. Remember that? It was a trend to have a closet full of Jordans. I had that. It was a trend to do, to do Carl Kanai jumpsuits. I had that. It was a trend for cross-color jeans. Remember that? I did that. I've been following twins for a minute. Uh, Jay-Z Jay did the video. Rock uh, Motorola two-way page me. What'd I do? I ran out and got me a Motorola two-way pager. It's what we do. It's what we do. We follow trends, but it's more prevalent of a trend follower right now than it is ever. I say from 19 to now, trucking has been the most trending thing to do. Everybody is running because they 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 went to social media and they saw oh how glamorous, oh how all this money that they fake money making. Fake money making. What what what? what? Fake money making. They're on here sitting in there showing all the money on all the money that they went in the bank that they got out of the bank just to show off on social media. I'm old school. I never did that. I never I'm old school, period. I, I never show off. I mean, blessings, yes. True blessings, yes. You want to talk about your true blessings, I get it. But just to show off, I don't understand it. But let me ask you something, I, I, and I want to tell you, I'm not pressed about this, all right? I'm not pressed about it. You do what you do, you know? You got, you, for whatever reason, you decide to get into the trucking industry is your decision. But I'm going to tell you one thing. <laughs> Just because everybody over here making this industry all glamorous and and paws and pretty and and TikTok dancing and all like that, and then you you know you watch somebody driving the scenery and everything. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Let me break it down for you. Half the people. Half the people. Half. I'm, I'm not sure of the statistics, but I'm going off half the people wouldn't even know what to do in a Midwest winter storm. 90 is crap every year. Every year, 90 
is crap. Blackout, how do you know? Because I live up in that area. And I know I-90 is crap. There's trucking crashes every year. There's pileups every year. I was in one of them. I wasn't on 90, but I was in a pileup, and a truck slid into me. Dude literally had to get out and put chains on. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Chains? Chains? <laughs> Y'all don't know nothing about chains. <laughs> Let me tell you. Y'all y'all don't know nothing. Y'all y'all new jack drivers, y'all don't know nothing about chains. Y'all y'all only seen it. Y'all only heard about it, but you never experienced it. And you might not in your trucking career. You might not experience chains. But so far everything that I thought that I wasn't going to experience, I experienced it. Crashes check steer tire blowout check chains check breakdowns check <laughs> everything that i didn't think that i was going to experience that i thought i was going to go through this whole trucking industry thing check not working for the same company i started with check <laughs> Y'all think when y'all get in, y'all think when y'all get in this industry, y'all think y'all gonna retire from that one company? Hopefully you do. I mean, that's the goal. But trust me, you you gonna end up at four or five trucking companies before you get to the right one, the right fit, the right the right square peg in that square peg toy. But again, you guys, <laughs> let me take it back. You guys. Have not experienced a Midwest winter storm. Get to me when you do. Half of y'all, half, half, half of y'all can't do paper logs. I mean, every truck, now, now, mind you, every trucking company has to have e logs, and that's what they're going to bring you on. Maybe you'll get with a trucking company that won't even that that'll just give you the paper laws and won't even train you or teach you or let you know what a paper log is. But you'll get stuck though. Paper logs, lockout men, check. Half of y'all can't even read a map. We had the one guy that using that using Apple Maps took him up into PA of all places. And he got hemmed up and got lucky that he got up under a 12-1 bridge. But the, but, the, but the height of the truck is 13-6. Is it 12-1 or 13-1? Or, or I'm not sure. But still, he used the Apple Maps, though. He don't want to read a map. Maybe if he had a map, he would have known that that area in PA has low clearances. You guys can't function without a GPS. <laughs> Ooh, now listen, I, I, I'm 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 a GPS kind of guy. Don't get me wrong. I, I had GPSs way before I even got into the truck. Now I can honestly say that maybe or maybe not I can function without a GPS. I mean, you know, back in the day, I I had to go to I had to go to Square Maps and and pull up a map and sit down and and write it out, and I had to download the map before I even went on my trip. So yes, I I do know how to read a map. Atlas, yes. Check. Did I have to use one? Yes. Let me put a check on that one too. Check. <laughs> Never even, half of you never even attempted to drive a stick shift and opt for an automatic. Now, listen, there's only a handful of companies that's offering manuals. But a lot of these schools now, especially if you go through a trucking school uh, uh, that's sponsored by a trucking company, i.e. Swift, Prime, 
CRST, CR England, they all going to train you out of a automatic. So you're going to get an automatic restriction off the rip. Who's next? That's why I say go to school and get the opportunity to drive the manual to see if you can drive the manual, okay? See if you can drive the manual because if you can drive the manual, you will open a, a, a little bit more opportunities out here. My company, for example, you know, I, I got a Mac. It's automatic. But we do got restaurant stars that are manuals. So if you don't have no restrictions on your license, then you can you can say, hey, I, I don't want the Mac. Let me go ahead and hop in that hop in that super sleeper, that Western star. And they'll be like, oh, okay, cool. We got you. Bam. No restrictions. But half of you guys, all your licenses are restricted. Listen, half of you guys can't even pre-trip, pre-plan. Or trip plan properly. Pre-trip, get out, open up the hood, check everything, fluids, wires, hoses, tires. Walk down the trailer. Make sure everything up under, under the trailer is good. Make sure nobody is up under the trailer. Because we're seeing videos now that you guys not doing the, the pre-trip because you got somebody in a hammock up under the trailer. Or somebody hanging on the back of the door. Or somebody inside the trailer. You're not doing your pre-trip, bruh. Pre-trip. Make sure you got air in your tire. You know the tire pressures? No. Half of you guys don't. Y'all don't know the tire pressures. If you do, let me know in the comments below. Walk behind the trailer. Make sure all your lights is on. Let me give you, let me give you a, 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 a quick tip right quick. Even though DOT is out here looking for us, they will pull us over quick if one of the lights is out. That'll give them a strong reason to pull you over and to do a DOT inspection because one of the lights is out. Headlight, parking light, tail light, side light, marker light, any kind of light that's on your truck that's out and you ride past one of these DOTs that don't have nothing better to do, they're going to pull you over and do an inspection on you. Trip plan. I, I, I didn't mention that. But trip plan. Always. You know, at, at least have an idea of where you're going, the amount of time that you got to drive, and hopefully somewhere to park. And being that I mentioned that, don't forget to download Trucker's Path. Yes, sir, uh, Trucker's Path. The trucking app for truckers. It will help you find truck parking anywhere that you deem fit. If you're in a, it, it has, it has parking information for all of the majors. If there's parking there, because there's other truckers that's given that information to let you know if there's some parking at that trucking uh, truck stop. Not only that, but if you could park at a Walmart, mom and pops, fields, restaurants, whatever, Trucker's Path will have somewhere for you to find adequate parking if you need it. Don't forget to download it today from the Play Store. But let me tell you, before I get on up out of here, because I'm, I'm, I'm just here to give you guys the gist. But you do know, but you guys, you know, Half of you guys, even though y'all don't know how to do the stuff that I have mentioned, but you guys do know how, and I'll tell you how to do it, right? I, you guys do know how to dress, to stand in front of the truck, dance in front of the truck, TikToking in front of the truck, getting in the truck, doing booty dances in the truck, making yourself look pretty in the truck. You know how to do all of that in the truck. You know how to do all of that in the truck. I'm just saying. But I tell you, I'm not the only one that's pressed, though. 
even though I'm not, but I'm not the only one that press. But guess what? I know, <laughs> I know in this episode right here, I know I hit a few nerves. And a good handful of you are pressed as well. <laughs> Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me on?